Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Swarm Grinder 1.0 version. This uh, full release is coming out on the 22nd of April. If you happen to be watching it late, this is in April. Um, I think the game's like seven or eight dollars. Anyways, uh, supposedly, I have not played this prior to this version that I got, uh, which I've been playing for a few hours now. It has completely been redone with a bunch of stuff, so I don't know if you've checked it out previously and maybe it didn't seem that great. But uh, stay around for a little bit and watch because I've been really enjoying this. Uh, I've been really impressed. We're going to play on difficulty one, evolution one here. With bullets, with the uh, gun character and the plateau. I've got one win with the butcher so far. They've also added gadgets, which apparently weren't in the game before. Gadgets are, you know... Basically something to press spacebar with. Oh, sorry. Uh, allergies are bothering me, so if I sound a little off or whatever, that's why. Um, anyways, basically, if you haven't seen this game before, what's happening is we are in this mech suit killing swarms of things. I'm not actually sure what you're doing. I think we're collecting stuff is the story. I'm not really sure. So we have five slots, and one of them is your starting weapon. You could you then pick up other weapons to add to here and our goal is to get basically 28 upgrades well on the first difficulty it's 25 but then it grows now what's interesting about this game in addition to its very cool soundtrack is that your fuel is constantly running out so you are basically always pushed to go further and further so what you're trying to do is out scale the enemies basically with your upgrades and whatnot and uh, personally i love that in these types of games but it's not a like sit down and relax type of game because it's there's it's some focus going on so what else is cool is every time you add an upgrade your fuel consumption goes up so you have to start killing more enemies uh, in addition to that this upgrade system i think is fantastic it's one of the best i've seen Basically, and there's more upgrades than this. Basically, you'll get one of these upgrades. It'll upgrade three times. The third upgrade is the best. And then there's like one super upgrade for each thing. Or there might be more per one. I'm not sure. But I'm still figuring all that out. I think I'm going to take um, burst gun over crit rate. No, maybe I'll take crit rate. And then you're trying to like find because some like weapons will have synergy for other weapons. I will say um, before I forget to talk about it, that the first run felt pretty rough because things you haven't discovered already. Um, things you haven't discovered already are question marks, so you might end up with just a bunch of stuff that you don't know what it does. I'm gonna take piercing bullets on scattershot. I actually don't know if I like scattershot personally, but maybe a different set of upgrades makes it good. The upgrades feel like extremely, extremely impactful very quickly. And it's like, uh, excellent. It's excellent is what I would say. I think this game is actually pretty wonderful right now. I'm gonna take Lucky Charm because it's like crit based. And see, a lot of that too is like, you don't get to actually see what the upgrades do. That's one minor oversight I would have. I would much rather be able to like walk into this and have a menu up that let me pick from them, pick from one. I think that would feel a lot better personally. But aside from that, this game really like has a lot going for it. You can drop the thing on enemies much like deep rock galactic survivor uh i think the game didn't have a dash before and i could see why it would have felt bad because when you get stuck uh if you don't have your dash ready to go you just die and apparently they made uh they made you have more hp and enemies like have more hp so like they did some balance adjusting because i could see like you already die really fast if you get swarmed. So I can't imagine what it was like pre nerf, uh, like pre damage nerf and pre not being able to dash, right? Now you don't always have a dash. There's other things you can add. And now we're hitting hit with a way a swarm basically, which happens every so often. It's like 
a big event. And then there's also a couple boss. There's like an end boss, and there's a couple bosses in between. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade Lucky Charm. So, increases rapid fire skills crit chance. It has like tags and stuff, so all the active weapons we have are rapid fire right now. That was not an accident. I did that intentionally. So, let's get 10% crit chance for all of our weapons. It The game does seem to incentivize leaning into... What I can tell from my early experience so far is one of three different damage types, which is like blades, rapid fire, or like explosive. I don't It might be called launcher or something. I don't know. It's probably the third mech that I haven't unlocked yet that does it. But um, that seems to be it. So I don't think this is one of those games where you're going to play it for like 100 hours, right? Uh, ricochet sounds good. We already have a lot of crit chance. Let's go ricochet. But this is something I feel like I could put like probably a solid 10 hours into and feel happy about. Maybe longer, depending. But like any sort of... I, I didn't really look at the Steam reviews. I just saw that the developer seemed fairly apologetic when talking about the upgrades and I guess they got some tough feedback earlier on whatever the game was in its previous state I don't know but I think right now it is one of the more fun early impressive or early impressions I've had of a, of a bullet heaven in a while it's just it's very much like feels like it knows what it's doing and it's leaning into that it's very active it's very arcadey i you know i think if they added like a score system that'd be kind of cool also um i know one uh extremely <laughs> degenerate person from the discord will be interested in this type of game because it seems very speed runnable. Um, I'm going to take I want all these. Let's take piercing up for now. Because really the only thing that's holding me back is the rate at which I defeat enemies. I can go as fast as I want to go uh, for each skill. For every skill, each 1% crit chance increases its attack speed by 1%. Oh. Oh, that's good. Crit damage is good too, but that seems like really good. The game is also fairly generous with like heart drops, which is just healing, obviously. There is also meta progression. Uh, pretty solid meta progression. Uh, it, it's a lot. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Uh, so, like I said, I preemptively used my dash there and we got swarmed and we died. So, you know, that can happen. <laughs> you do have to pay attention. So this is the meta progression stuff. You unlock these things. I have no idea why they're named this. It doesn't really matter. Basically, you put a point into this and you can put one point into one of the three things below it. Um, there's this over here. One thing I don't like, I will say, is that you have to spend these to refund your stuff to respect. I, I am not supporter of that in any of these single player games for sure. But we will upgrade windmill. Oh, I guess that means you can only have a maximum of four points of any of these. I would like to. I don't know what trigger range is. It's probably pickup range. I don't know. Let's let's run it back. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, it, it, you die pretty quickly if you're a goofball like me. Don't dash unintent, like, don't preemptively dash. Or dash in the wrong direction, especially with this. If you have the melee stuff going on, it's probably better. Um, like Railgun, I guess, to start with. I don't know exactly how many, like, weapons and things there are in the game. I know I have uh, plenty of stuff to unlock still. It's not like a massive, massive content game, I don't think. There's like a few stages to unlock. There's, there's an achievement page that shows all of it, but... 
What's arsenal? 20% damage to everything. Okay. It's more interesting seeing like, not so much what is arsenal, so much as what are the upgrades behind arsenal. Also, part of the reason I might look like a fool right now running into the center is that I was playing the blade character before and he has like a whirlwind attack. Um, which was pretty effective. Oh, increased global duration. I, I don't want any of these. Okay, increase. Okay, all of this seems better. Torch hit? Torch? Uh, global pierce goes up, I guess. Sure. The terms are like the upgrades are very easy to understand. Typically the torch thing. I, I know torch is another like ability. I think it's burning or something. So it's probably just that. And this the the golden screws, once you get enough of them, they upgrade. All right, I would like, oh, minigun's pretty good. 50% more bullets. Seems good. Seems quite useful. Uh, let's just get a scatter shot here. Kind of running back what we did last run, just in a different order. So I'm not sure either if there's like a set amount of locations on the map or if they just spawn like kind of in an area around you. It If they're in a set location on the map, then they've done a brilliant job of setting them up so that it seems like they just spawn nearby. Railgun. Decrease pierce count by two. Magazine size up by 50%. Increase the first and last... Okay, no. Railgun bullets create an explosion when their pierce runs out or when they reach the end of their duration. Okay. Exploding bullets sounds neat. I do think we might need to take something that reduces the pierce count, though. If we want to make it actually explode. And here comes the swarm. Let's back away. They exploded. They exploded real good. But yeah, I, I was play. I was like, typically I play these games a little bit to just like see if I want to make a video on them, like see what I think, right? Especially when a dev sends me something I haven't like looked too much into. I don't really know much about to see if one, I like it enough to put on the channel and two, if it's, you know, good. I am impressed. Damage increased by 5% every shot. Resets with cast. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, you can also look at your stuff by just pressing escape and has a full thing. So we have uh, 35 bullets and it goes up by 5% every time we fire. That's pretty good. It's a lot of damage. These slimes were not in uh, the base difficulty. Not one bit. So I think what happens with the golden with the golden screws, or at least this is what it seems like, is that when you um, acquire three of them, you get a big upgrade for your weapon. Increase explosion damage by ten per shot. Decrease cooldown by 15% and magazine size by... I don't want to do that. I'm curious what Exploding Bullets 3 is. I suspect it's going to be good. As what I've seen so far is that most abilities are pretty good. Oh, there's a whole other mechanic I haven't even talked about. Um, so you might notice that sometimes when I'm grabbing fuel that I will like the bar will go blue and I'll go over that or you know so basically you can overcharge your mech 
And while it's overcharged, you get a buff. I don't know if I can see that here. Um, it says it in the select screen, but each mech has a different one. Basically, this guy's rapid fire stuff goes up. I do more damage, more attack speed, I think is basically it. Uh, the blade one, something similar, but for blades. Ow. Don't get pinched. Live as if you are a thief and don't get pinched. Buckle up, Swarm is coming soon. Okay. That's fine. I don't know what's up with the slimes. I don't know if... They don't seem to be attacking or anything. But I like how the mission is to literally just go get upgrades. Uh, scatter shot. Rapid fire magazine size. Sign me up. So some skills like this have uh, buffs to everything. Which is great. What is that? Oh, that's a broken down mech. Hold up. I haven't seen that before. It's new. It's new and it interests me. Although I would also like to stay alive. Common item. You have unlocked mag rapid fire magazine size by 25%. Oh, okay. That's neat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what is common item. Like, where is that salvaged item? Oh, okay. Neat. Uh, let's this is a boss. The red drill is a boss. Big one coming. Yep. That's what she said. A big one's coming. And it's the same boss as difficulty one. Lucky charm me. Okay, so we're running the exact same build. Whatever. It happens. We're definitely doing better. Made it to the boss. We should have a decent amount of damage, too. Now, you can't just, like, lame out the boss, either, because of this, like, fuel deteriorating mechanic. And I died. Oh, no, I didn't die. But we're in trouble now. Need to find heals. Uh, you can't just, like, lame out and just fight the boss solo because you will run out of fuel. So you have to keep, like, spawning more enemies, basically, to stay alive. Unless maybe you have, like, some fuel heavy fuel light build. There, it, there are upgrades that reduces your fuel uh, consumption and stuff, so. You know, now we've got the dashing enemies. The difficulty does go up as you progress. And the elite should... Oh, cool off, cooldown station is a nice bonus right here. I kind of wanted to drop that on his head, but oh well. Railgun me? Exploding bullets three. Well, that's not as good as I want. As I had hoped. Uh, take attack speed, I guess. All right. We got two upgrades from that. That's pretty good. Um, global pierce, global count. Probably global count. Count. And then rapid fire magazine size. Oh, wait, global count's crazy. I forgot. Global count is increase the amount of bullets fired. So it's like it goes crazy with Gatling. I guess if I just read that, it would have clicked instead of me having to just like think about it. But I'm also noticing that there's a different icon on that thing, 100 meters on the top left of our mouse is right here. I've been playing with one hand. You can play with ma only mouse or you can play with uh, only keyboard or you play with both however you want to. But um, it's extremely accessible. It's a two button game, really. Um, who? Ricochet? Ricochet. Yeah. Yeah, it's Ricochet. Ricochet is just too good not to take. The game is literally about 
defeating swarms. You need to be able to take out hordes. Like, that's just the nature of it. We're fully overcharged right now. But yeah, there's, like, like I said, there's like, what, five, five difficulties, three mechs, meta progression. There seems like there's a decent amount of achievements. There's a solid amount of content here for like six bucks, six or seven bucks, whatever. Like I said, I don't remember what it was. And it's, and that's assuming you don't get it on like some type of discount. So pretty good value, I would say, from my experience so far. I think I've already gotten like, if I had paid for it and I was this far in, I would be pretty happy with it. That's what I'd say. It's my feelings. Um, for every ricochet, increases explosion explosion chance. I'm gonna take neon three. These stations are useful. Maybe I should find a way to mobilize them. That'd be cool. Mobilize half cooldown station. Seems like it would be something very useful. So I'm trying to get to this other golden screw to get our big upgrade. Hopefully it's something good. Buckle up, buckaroo. <laughs> Swarms are coming. I, I got it. I don't know. See, it, is she the one in the mech or am I or is she like someone on the surface like talking to me? I don't, I don't really know what's going on lore wise here. All I know is that we are grinding swarms. And here we go. Except this time with a lot of uh, a lot of other ones to dodge. They're also a little bit faster, I would say, than they were on the default difficulty. I had to dash there so I could pick up fuel. Um, that's a whole nother thing when you get the swarm. Sometimes if you take two round a circle, you'll actually not pick up all your fuel. Then you run out. If you run out of fuel, you start losing HP and then you, that, then you die. So that's how it goes. We're at 13 of 28 right now. I think my first win was around like 22 minutes uh, for the run ish. I think that's right. Uh, crit chance by 15. It's really hard to go against that. Like, it's just a lot of damage. Kill 10,000 enemies. You have unlocked Butcher. See, I already unlocked Butcher. So part of this, I think the achievement thing is going weird for me. Is because I played uh, yesterday or whatever, and there was some like delay and them unlocking the 1.0 version for us because the 1.0 you know we're getting early access to this uh you could play it right now it's like 0.7 or something but the 1.0 comes out in the 20 22nd but creators have like an earlier access to it or whatever and i think i was playing the older version at first and now the newer version has like different unlocks so i've got like i'm seeing these random unlocks for things that i've already like I already I already beat the game once with that character. I don't know how I just unlocked him. So that's kind of weird, but also I guess I understand it. All right, we got the golden thing. I would like to grab Gatling gun. I'll grab Ricochet too. And okay. So yeah, these are the big ones. Um, ricochet boost increases your global ricochet count by 2x so we could that would all of our ricochets would be more gatling guns damage and attack speed by no that's when we're low hp i don't want that and this makes it shoot twice i take ricochet boost it's also global so if i get ricochet on any other guns that seems like it could be like a huge buff. And so if we look here, that's our that's our thing. It seems to drop for the one that you have the most points into. 
the ability. I have not seen all of them or even close to all of them. But they're definitely like the big point of your run. Uh, increase ricochet by one. Yes, please. Thank you. And as is retroactive because like we saw it went up by two. So now we get from in in that moment there, we basically went from one ricochet to four ricochets on our Gatling gun. Now, if we get ricochets on our other abilities, that would be neat, but I don't even know if that's a thing. I'm very curious about this one. Um, this one icon on the screen that's a different. The one arrow that's different. I'm going to go towards that and see if we find something good. I almost put myself into a bad position there. As far as I know, there's no aiming. I like I kind of tried to, but with the mouse, but it didn't make different any difference. It seems like just it always auto fires at the nearest thing, which is fine. It makes it so I don't ever feel like, oh, I'd be doing better if I, you know, manually fired in this direction. No, I have to fire this way. Uh, we're running out of fuel. Running out of fuel. OK, we're back. We're back. <laughs> the game can go from going so well to so poorly so quickly. I found the blade character didn't have as much problem with fuel because you just kind of like ran in and slaughtered everything. I also think I had like a really good synergistic run going on with that character. Like everything seemed to just fit together. The upgrades I got. It's possible I'm not being aggressive enough with my rerolls right now. And according to like some update thing I saw that rerolls were supposed to be an unlockable. But again, that's different. Increase rapid fire damage by 50%. I don't know what that has to do with crit rate, to be honest. I will say that. Um, also, it only seems to be affecting Gatling gun when are my other two abilities not rapid fire? Like, didn't we just go over this active rapid fire? Yeah, I think that one might be a little mislabeled in its the name of it. But whatever, it happens. Oh, it's another item. OK, well, that's good. Defeat 3000 enemies with bullet storm in a single run. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I don't think that was there yesterday when I was playing. I need fuel. Gatling mech needs fuel badly. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 uh oh. There's a, there's a lot of enemies. We do not want to get swarmed. We want to, oh, damage up. Damage up is good. We don't want to get too surrounded. I'd also like to click on this or come by here. Can I? Well, you unlocked poison drone holding down the gadget control key creates a poisonous trail that will remain for five seconds the poison trail deals 10 damage enemies and characters from counter every time a cell is open the poison tank fills up with a certain amount poison tank is empty it will not work all right so that's uh, one of these items that can go over here i don't know how exactly i don't know if those get upgrades or not i have no clue how that works just yet Still still working through that one. Uh, let's go back to the damage station. <laughs> the these like stations are seemingly permanent also, so you can kind of use them as needed. Rapid fire skills magazine size up. Yep. Yep. Just go for the synergy. All right, we're at 18 of 28 now. I would like some fuel, please. It's all right here. That guy tried. So the different colored thing is a 
different upgrade. Pierce. I don't care about Pierce. Increase attack speed by 25%? Probably. So the different colored, yeah, arrows are like permanent upgrades, or permanent unlocks, I'm guessing, is what I was trying to say before I uh, got distracted by a different type of upgrade. I, this game just like spams upgrades at you and you have to be constantly active, so I'm kind of trying to focus on not uh, dying while also trying to be somewhat entertaining while I run through this. I would like the railgun. Attack speed too. Okay. More damage. I mean, uh, it seems fine. I really wanted to find just anything that gives ricochet, but I feel like that might not be happening. I also think I saw ricochet on the uh, bullet, fe the feather bullets that we skipped on earlier, one of the other weapons that counts as a blade. So we might just like not have a ricocheting gun. Also, the fact that, uh, oh, OK, we're going to use our dash now to get out. Yeah, that'd be a thing, too, because not having a dash would be much more difficult. I mean, I guess you might have more killing power. But you have no escape button if you mess up. It's kind of scary. Uh, rapid shots, too. Taking those rapid shots like Kenjaku, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all know. To everyone else, I, it's, a, it's just don't worry about it. You'll you'll know in like a couple years or whatever. If you're an enjoyer of that anime. <laughs> but to the people who know, they're gonna love it. <laughs> that was a that was a good one. Uh, okay, twenty one of twenty eight. I definitely want to get to the boss like I don't want to not just because I like have this desire to always win but also because I thought the bosses were kind of cool and I want to show them off arsenal for each count the cooldown of the skill is decreased by two percent um Because, well, count, how do I tell what the count is here? Is it magazine size? No, it's not magazine size, because that's how many things I attack with. Uh, I don't see count. That me might be something to maybe, maybe address, I would say, as that's a little confusing, or at least there's no reference for me of it. I also appreciate that the mouse cursor just disappears if you stop using the mouse for a certain amount of time. Little things like that. Nice touches, for sure. But if you've been watching my fuel this time, you might this whole time, you might notice that now I consume fuel at an extremely fast rate. So we have to we have to do lots of killing. I have not come into a situation where I like don't take a skill because it takes too much consumption, but I, that could be a thing in the future. I'm not really sure. But I do know I love killing bugs. Let's go scatter shot, I guess. Rapid shots three. Increases attack speed of 15% and also increases damage by 50%. Well. Oh, it only increases scatter shots damage by 50%, I guess. But you know what? That's fine. I, I like I like that it shows what it upgrades under what you take. I guess there's just a couple things that need clarifying and maybe. Wow. OK, sorry, I got startled by the wave popping off like that. Uh Oh, we're being surrounded. We're being surrounded and I'm running out of fuel. I think we're about to die. 
I need to pick up all of these. Oh, 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 pick them up before they disappear. Pick them up. I have to dash to pick them up now. That's not a good thing. Yeah, stuff disappears from the ground very quickly. Somehow, I survived. Like Palpatine before me. Sorry, spoilers, but you know, <laughs> stupid movie. Somehow, I survived. The greatest explanation in movie history. <laughs> you know, no explanation needed. Just, he survived. Oh, man. Okay, let's, uh, let's get these bugs. That was really close. Lucky Charms, eh? Increased rapid fire skills crit chance. Uh, well, we know we're taking that. I like how I just ran back the exact same build that I lost on, and now we're getting close to victory. He says, before he uh, <laughs> sabotages himself. These guys have a lot of HP. Might need to take that crit damage up. I mean, I only have four upgrades left. That is a thing, too. You have a limited number of upgrades, because the boss will spawn on the last one. So if you're not strong enough, well, at least you tried. But I think that's a good mechanic. This is like a, I guess it's a very like Soulstone Survivors-y type thing, right? Where you're like, instead of killing enough enemies, you just level, you hit a certain number of level ups. Oh, we got them all. Uh, leave me my lucky charms. I would like... I would like crit damage, please. 40% is a... large number. I don't like that I'm getting pushed back. But I guess that's just because I'm not strong enough, so... I don't really have a choice. I'm pretty sure there's a damage meter at the end too. So that'll be nice to check out. I, I hope I hope I'm not just like misremembering from literally yesterday. That would be rather embarrassing, I would tell you, but also wouldn't be the first time. No fuel left. We're full of fuel. <laughs> Life happens quick. Crit damage by 40%. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay, these these slimes are really starting to be annoying. I think they're just bullet sponges. We have two upgrades left. So ideally, we take the last crit damage upgrade. And then... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the other one is. She keeps talking about these stations, and I would love to use them, but... All right, I need fuel. I need fuel badly. Running out of fuel. Yeah, I feel like our railgun is maybe underperforming a little bit. Clear the last field. Okay. This is not the last field for the record. Also, I'm gonna reroll because I can. Crit damage three. It's the same. Okay. Huh. Literally, I was totally fine with 40% crit damage, so. It is to the south east. Much like myself. Now, the real question is, what do we spend the last upgrade on? Also, there's a wave coming. We have survived for 25 minutes. Cool achievement. 
Okay, explosion seems to be really good when it goes off from the railgun. It's just, uh... Difficult. I've used dash. We have a certain amount of time that we have to survive now before we reacquire all that all that stuff disappeared that's bad yeah stuff laying only staying on the ground for a very short amount of time is one of the things that makes this game difficult bro get out of my way okay they're they're there to block you i get it they're <laughs> they're hindrances I get it now, stupid slimes. Oof. Damage. Okay, so I just thought, let's take a look. Uh, we could get... I don't know what it does. It doesn't show because I haven't seen it before. Uh... <laughs> We could try to get lucky shot too. I don't think we care about exploding bullets. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I guess we're grabbing luck as our last one. If we are able to. More crit chance on our stuff seems like the biggest DPS increase we can get. And that's clearly what we need right now. These slimes are making me stutter. Holy moly. Uh, oh, hey, these things. Okay, so one thing I'll notice from yesterday to today, or maybe this is difficulty one till today, uh, those, like, yellow cocoons were everywhere, and they were for meta progression stuff. But today, it seems like all the meta progression stuff is in, like, achievements and quests and stuff so i don't know if that's like a big fundamental change that happened from the previous update to 1.0 so that might be something to you know make note of if you're a, someone who played the game previously uh kill 7500 enemies in one run i have done that i have done that thank you it's also steam achievement all right boss it is, uh, C'Thun. Oh, the tentacles are slowing me now. It's not great. Also, I thought I had one more upgrade, but apparently it does not drop an upgrade. So, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. What's also unfortunate is our current fuel. Um, he's gonna... I'm not sure if he's any different or not than the first one. Yeah, he does this AoE attack. And then has the little hands. And then at some point you get the spawns of waves, which you'd have to have because... Not specifically for health, but you have to have it for a fuel generation. Let me get out. It's a decent boss. Uh, I hope there's more bosses, or, like, different kinds of bosses. For sure. But, uh, I, I was pleasantly surprised finding this. I thought it would run was just gonna end when I won the first time. But, seeing this guy show up was like, oh, that's pretty cool. With, you know, a mechanic. I, I guess a couple mechanics. He has the big attack, like that. That breaks open things and summons guys which is pretty smart and then he has the tentacles which are obviously annoying tentacles but no one likes tentacles except anime girls so that's how it is i think we got this in the back the ricochet seems to be doing a lot of work i mean obviously our gatling gun is going to be the top dps by a mile Wrecked, you have unlocked the Butcher. Joke's on you, I already won the game with the Butcher. <laughs> Unlocks, white screen. Okay, again, this out in five days. Um, Unlocks weapon item slot on Bullet Storm. I don't know what that means. Is it this? Is it this slot? Is it this over here? Uh, 
damage. Oh, it doesn't show individual damage. It just shows total. Hmm. That kind of sucks. All right, let's go to the lobby. See if we can tell what we unlocked. Codex. There's this thing that shows the unlockables currently. Um, unlock, unlock. I wanted to see what it would show for the one thing. Oh, there's three things that are locked here. Wait, what is going on? And there's this garage. Oh, oh, wait, what, what, what? Yes, I will spend 20. Oh, these are extra like passive slots you could put on your mech. OK, so it costs 20 for me to do that. And this guy has basically the same thing, but it's different. And then, but those aren't your gadget buttons. I get it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm not so dumb. I'm just a little bit dumb. And then, yeah, we have 51. So the meta progression might be a little on the slow side for me currently, I would say. Reward. One rare item, guided bullet. I like that it shows you what you get and has like a quest for you to do. So this is complete evolution one on the plateau map using only rapid fire skills and active skills. I literally just did that i think but our rank went up i don't know uh some of the reward stuff is kind of weird i don't know if this is because of the version i'm like this is the dev version right but uh anyways i think the game is pretty great check it out the link's in the description below and i will see you all tomorrow have a great day jeff out bye